You were a Beautiful Natasha from Atomic Kitten, obviously Richie, handsome guy from Five. Then the two of you got together. How did that all start? Was it with the reunion tour? Yeah, the big reunion. We've known each other since we were since we were kids, and it was just nice to reconnect. And yeah, you know, it was a mm. whirlwind romance. And yeah, yeah. Obviously, we've got a beautiful daughter out of our relationship, and we were due to get married. But then I think when. You're going down that route. Oh. There's lots of little cracks, and then they turn into one big massive. Mm. And do so you think that sort of thing? So what you're saying is that when you became engaged, you then suddenly think, oh, okay, this is really happening, yeah. and it made yeah. you sort of both yeah. inspect the relationship. Absolutely. Really. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're not 100% committed, and you're not going to be 100% happy, then yeah. you know, yeah. we sat down. It, it was very amicable. We were both on the same page. Yeah. And we said, you know, this isn't for us. Mm. Uh, and I'll be staying for the next eight months. <laughs> well, it, it does sound like you've both handled it in such a mature way because, you know, it's, it's a very difficult thing to do. You've got a child together, yeah. things aren't working out. You know, you'd yeah. made this big announcement that you were going to get engaged. Yeah. Um, you know, I take my hat off to you both that yeah. you have handled it so well. Mm. I think, yeah. Happiness is key at the end of the day. Yeah. And I want my children to be happy. And Do they understand and, uh, that, sorry, Colleen, that, that you're, you're together at the moment, but you're not together? Yeah, they do. I mean, obviously, Ella's just coming up to two. So I'm mm -hmm. explaining, oh, Mummy's got a new house. I actually exchange tomorrow and we move out on Friday. Mm. So, we've so come you're to the end feels, of it now. Will that feel yeah. sad um, in a way? No, it's, a, it's my fresh beginning and it's my home. I've got a but home. Will that again. make it more real, the fact that? Because at the moment, OK, you, you've, you know you're, you're not together officially yeah. anymore, but you're still in the same environment, in the same house. Will it make it more real, you saying, right, bye? No, and... not at all, because I think, for me, I, I would never walk away if it wasn't definite. Yeah. And it was definite. I was so. going to say, because a lot of people watching this, and I'm sort of thinking it myself as well, because, you know, we all have broken relationships in our lives and we get to a point where you realise that nothing is ever perfect. Mm. Um, and people listen with it, well, you get on really well with him, obviously, because you, you know, make cups yeah. of tea for each other and you get on and you've got a child together. Yeah. Why can't you make it work? Um, I don't know. It's just like it's there's just lots of different underlying issues. Yeah. And we are better as friends as we are as a couple. And mm. It's so funny, isn't it? Because when you got engaged, you must have thought, this is it. Yeah. So I wonder if getting engaged kind of stamped it in a funny kind of way, because it's kind of final, isn't it? You know what I mean? If you hadn't got engaged and still were living together, you, you'd still got a future, but this, that mm. must have made it final. I mean, there was no fear there. It wasn't like, oh, oh my God, we get, we're engaged, we're getting married. It's going to get just married. Backtracking. It was yeah. nothing like that. It was just, as I said, a lot of little cracks, and you just realise, you know what, this isn't meant to be. And yeah, yeah. We have rushed a little bit, but... Sure. Yeah. You know, we didn't get married. What is, got, um, what is nice is because you stayed together in the house, it's kept it together for Ella, hasn't it? A hundred percent. All this and time. Not seeing them rowing. And, no, and you know, so you're, 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 you're gradually going. Yeah. yeah. I mean, as I say, it's just got to be as safe for the kids. I want, yeah. I want the house to be a safe mm. environment and for happy. them. And happy. Yeah. Want, and yeah. the good news is, for you, is that you have found someone else, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've got yeah. a boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the question that you've got four Great children. Kid. How do you meet somebody? How do you even yes. attempt um, to meet somebody? It was ju it just happened. We met in a in a pub, three friends. Really? Yeah, you managed just... to leave the house? <laughs> yeah. Don't you help? Is that was our friend's birthday party, and he's a friend of a friend, so I didn't know him, but I was told oh, he was a nice guy, and you know, we, we've we've actually courted. We oh, he's not going to come to my house. <laughs> And we both live the opposite side of the country, so we're like, we'll see each other once a week, we'll go out for dinner. And... So he doesn't come to the house? No. No. <laughs> well, that Rick would just is. be a little bit yeah. too awkward. <laughs> <laughs> is he around all the time? Or do you say he lived in another country? No, he lives in uh, London. Oh, so he is around, you see him all the time? Yeah, yeah, we, we commute okay. and, yeah, we, it's, been, it's been really nice. We've taken, taken so it's it proper slow. courting, <laughs> yeah. That's for a change. A, yeah. <laughs> Now, you're, you're going to be, obviously, heading off... Because, um, you're, you know, you're a working mum, which, you know, we all know what that is like. You're, you're heading off on tour, which is difficult enough anyway, but to the other side of the world? Yeah. How is this going to be? You're heading off to Australia. Do you know what? With everything going on with the house move, I've not got round to... 
even Planning thinking about what's that. Going on. Yeah. But um, as I, yes, I am a single parent, and I do have to work mm. and go where the work yeah, is. Yeah. So as exciting as it is to be going off with a Tommy Kitten and tour in Australia and New Zealand. It's then, mm, how do I fit that around the kids? Obviously, the boys are all in school, mm. yeah. so that's handy, and their dad, like my ex-husband, really. Carrie's in the same boat, isn't say, she? Um, in the same boat, and Michelle. Michelle, yeah. yeah. We've She's got Michelle. being Liz. She is, yeah, Liz has got a severe phobia of flying. And oh. so since the big reunion, we've not managed to do anything outside of the UK, really. OK. Um, oh. And then we've had a lot of offers come in, so... Um, well, Liz has said, go with my blessing. Yeah. <laughs> so Liz is still doing stuff in the UK. Yeah. Kerry, as you know, is an old friend of this show. So are you, uh, have you stayed in touch with each other? Are you kind of oh. looking forward? It's going to be different, yeah. isn't it, your I relationship? Do. Yeah, I mean, we are literally mums on tour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You are. yeah, we were in Australia about four weeks ago for five days just to do one gig. <gasps> wow. The three of us were so jet-lagged, but we were like, we've got no kids. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to enjoy the five days. Yeah. And we had a great time. We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really. <laughs>